Hello Aries, welcome to the channel. Hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Please remember, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, look at your moon and rising signs for greater clarity. We have the dreamer, Archangel Metatron. Metatron, Archangel Metatron, the dreamer. Now this is, the, this is equivalent to the full card in the traditional tarot deck. A leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities showing up. Beautiful energy. So if there's something you're inspired to do, follow it. Let's see what this is about. Spirit, please show me clearly. Higher power. It's about connecting in with your intuition. This can be spirit at work. There's higher powers at work. They're trying to help and support you to take this leap of faith forward. Okay, let's see what this is about. Spirit, please show me clearly. Higher powers are trying to guide you here. They will support you. If you take that leap of faith, the universe spirit will support you. So there could be unexpected opportunities showing up as well here, you see. The Queen of Wands. Death card, which is Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or somebody with Scorpio in their chart. Justice card. Now, this here is about following your dreams. It did say here, follow your dreams. She's somebody who does. I'm saying she, it's not gender specific reading. I'm talking about the energies on the cards. The Queen of Wands is somebody who is uh, does what she's inspired to do. She puts her heart and soul into things and she enjoys everything. Now, this could be new opportunities. It could be relationships. It could be new courses, skills. It could be that you're finding yourself you want to bring and change because this is you being inspired to go to follow your dreams here there could be unexpected if there's something you've always wanted to do the opportunity could show up for you so don't it might you know it's going to change everything it's going to transform your life there could be a lot of upheaval but it's out with the old and in with the new and that's what this is all about it's about a total transformation in your life now is the perfect time what spirit's saying here it's the perfect time Though, um, if there's any kind of change coming in you're having to make, you will be supported by the universe. There'll be a fair outcome from, for, uh, for everybody if it's a legal situation uh, that brings the changes in. This is also about you doing the right thing. It's also about understanding that what you put into things, you get out of it. It's a very well balanced card. So the work you put in, if you're doing and enjoying what you're doing, the universe will support you here. And we have got... The higher powers at work here so it's a very well balanced energy you put the work in you'll get the rewards so it's about being passionate what we're investing in here so let's look at this death card scorpio energy the knight of wands the nine of cups and the hermit card now what we're seeing here is uh, if there's any unexpected opportunities or you're finding it difficult, have a wee think about things. You can take yourself away. The answers are within you and they're not within your environment. So it could be here, for example, as well, that somebody unreliable is in your life. Could be an unreliable lover, partner, a friend, you know, business partner of any kind. You might want to do a bit of soul searching over. Um, you might want to change that, stop investing in this person, for example, because that's where your contentment will lie. For others, this can be you understanding that you've gained enough knowledge and going away on your own um, to do the soul searching and deciding which path you're going to go down, what you're passionate about here. Where does my wish contentment lie? Ones are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I don't know if I said that. But anyway, it's about you finding your contentment. It's about bringing in change. So this could be you passionate about someone. There can also be somebody coming in very quickly that you find very attractive, an unexpected person for romance. And you might want to do a bit of soul searching about that. Uh, the change could be good for you. There could be a lot of wish fulfillment and contentment could come from that as well. Now, let's just clarify the justice card, because this is about what you put in, you get out. It's about fair outcomes for everybody here. Yeah, it's time. It's the perfect time for the world card, the king of swords, and the nine of pentacles. Now, this here can be brand new chapters. It's, we've got the death card and we've got the world card. So it's a total transformation here. This is taking a leap of faith to shut down one 
chapter of your life. So you go through this portal and you start up a brand new one. So the chances are that once you've made this move, you can't go back in it because it's time for a new chapter in your life. Now, this can be divorce for some people or separation, whatever it is, splitting assets, because we've got a professional person here, the justice card, and we've got this independent person. The, the Nine of Pentacles is a young empress for me as well, but she's somebody who becomes who can become single. So that could be the, tra the, the path for some of you. If it's not that for all of you, it's about you seeing clearly through connecting in the spirit, taking time out and listening to your intuition and gaining the enlightenment here. You're starting to see clearly the path you want to go down. Now, you might want to gather some information here. You might want to educate yourself in something. You might want to go to a professional person that can give you financial advice or somebody who's got information you could benefit from here. This could also be you speaking up and making it clear about what you're going to do here. Because this is you coming into your own. It's a very single-minded energy. Now, the Queen, the this Nine of Pentacles is somebody who's very single-minded and independent-minded. So this is, this is you speaking up here. You're making it clear. You've got the clarity you need. Swords are clarity and communication. You're coming into your own here. Now, it can also be that somebody is seeing you as a very um, independent person who can create a lot of balance in your life. You're somebody who can create harmony in your life. And the, re the way she does that is she knows who to invest in, how much of her efforts to put into things. She holds on to some of her pentacles and she lets go of others. She lets go others. So this is about knowing how to work your finances, knowing how much to invest in people and work, you know, and having a beautiful work-life balance, for example. But she creates harmony around her. And people recognise this. And when they look at her, they know that she can create harmony. She's got high self-esteem and she appears confident. So be confident about what you want to do here. Don't doubt yourself. If there's something you've you've decided here, clearly a path you want to take, go for it. Be independent-minded. This is somebody who can stand on their own two feet. They make good logical decisions, uh, strat strategic decisions like this kind of swords energy. And the efforts you put in, you put the work in, the universe will support you here most definitely. So don't be frightened to take that leap of faith forward, even if you have to do a bit of soul searching first, because there's brand new, there's a lot of contentment lying ahead for you, but it's in brand new chapters of your life, because we are talking here about change. We are talking about change. That's where your contentment will lie. Healing Angel. Healing Angel. At this very moment, you are being bathed in gold, pink and deep light and green light. Accept this healing. We as angels surround you with wings of love. You are eternally free, eternally fresh and eternally abundant. You've got lots of good things ahead of you. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.